Hi you guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you how to quickly and easily take any type of curriculum, like hard curriculum, it's called a hard copy of curriculum, and upload it to Google Classroom using Google Slides that is editable for students that they can turn in directly into Google Classroom. It's very easy and I'm just gonna show you how to do it. You will need to transfer the hard copy to the computer. Now you can just take a picture of it or you can scan the page with a printer, with a scanner, or you can use your phone or iPad. I'm gonna be using my iPad. This is just easier for me. I also have a printer, but I personally feel like this is the easiest just for me. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to scan the page you wanna work with. If you're working with your phone or iPad, you need to download an app. The app I use is called Scanner App, but I do have it purchased, but you can get it for free. You just have a limited number of scans you can do a day. So what you do is you just add the plus button on your app or whatever app you're using, and you're gonna go to camera. Okay, so I have the document on a flat surface. I'm going to take whatever I'm using. I'm using my iPad, you can use your phone and take a picture of it. You can mess with the settings, um, but I like to use a document setting, and here I can crop out exactly what I want to work with. And it really doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm happy with this, and then you're gonna save it. And it was saved as a picture, and just on my particular app, I'm gonna just mess with the color a little bit, because I want it as black and white as possible. So it looks like a copy, essentially, and I want it really, like, crisp, okay. Perfect. So this was saved as a photo. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to get it to your computer. If you have an Apple product, this is simple, but if you have a PC like I do, I just send it to my email. Make sure to send it as a JPEG because that's gonna be important later on. And again, JPEG just means photo. All right, so after we have emailed it or airdropped it, if you're using Mac, you need to put it onto your Google Drive. So I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to my Google Waffle, going to Drive, um, and then I actually was able to upload it directly to my Drive for my email. So we have the photo. Now what we need to do is create a new Google slide. And then you can name it whatever the assignment is. We need to change the size of the slide to fit a piece of paper a letter size piece of paper. So we're going to go to file. You're gonna drop down here and go to page setup. And you are going to go to custom. And you're gonna change this to eight and a half by 11 and hit apply. Go ahead and get rid of these text boxes. Okay, so we need to set the background. Um, the reason why we set the image as the background is so students cannot manipulate it when you upload it to Google. If you were to insert it as a photo like I did, the students can move it around and probably delete it, which is a headache. So we need to upload it as a background. So we're going to go to background, choose image, go to Google Drive, go here, insert, and done. So... I'm gonna take it a step above because I want to, and I like to make things look pretty. So I'm going to make it look pretty by changing the color of the worksheet, similar to how we would maybe print on pastel paper or Astro Bright paper, just to make it more pretty and more fun because we're trying to make it fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and go to PowerPoint. So I have a new PowerPoint open and I am going to change the size. So PowerPoint is just like Google Slides, but PowerPoint is more, I don't know, I can be more creative on PowerPoint. So go ahead and go to design, slide size, custom size. And you're gonna go to portrait, eight and a half by 11. Ensure fit. Get rid of these, and then we're going to insert pictures from this device. Now we have the image. I'm gonna zoom out just a tad, and I'm actually just gonna extend it out a little bit. I don't care if it's too distorted. 
So to change the color of the worksheet to something more fun, this is how you do it. You're going to insert a shape. Go ahead and lay it on top. Then you are going to change the color, shape fill. If you don't like any of these colors, you can go to more colors and literally just find your perfect shade of whatever you're looking for. I've been feeling a lot of purple lately, so I'm gonna do a nice purple color and go to okay. And we have this pretty purple. What we need to do now is make this shape transparent. So we're going to right click, format shape. You're gonna go to this drop down for fill. And this is the transparency. So we're gonna lighten the transparency to where you can really see um, the photo in the background. And it's just like printing it on the pastel paper. So I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So we're just gonna lay this overlay on that worksheet and it looks like it was printed on color paper. Again, you don't have to do this. I am just trying to make it fun. Okay, now that we've changed the color of the worksheet, we are now going to add text boxes right now because I want it to be part of the background so the students don't mess with it. So I'm going to go to insert shapes, click and drag, and I'm going to change the fill to white and I want the outline to be black. And I like to have the outline because I've trained my students to click and type every time they see like an outline of a box to fill in answers with. So then I'm going to copy and paste this to all of the questions. Perfect, now I'm going to file, save as, and make sure you save it as a photo. Okay, as you can see, you can't mess with anything. The boxes are staying there. Um, everything is staying in place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change these directions because I want my students to use the race strategy when answering questions. Um, so we're going to insert shape and I'm gonna choose this right here. And I'm gonna make it large and in charge so my students will read it, hopefully. Change the background to white, double click for the text, input highlight. I want to change it to red. There we go. That should be bold and obvious enough. So now the students need to have somewhere to click and type into. So we're going to go to insert, text box, click and drag. So then I'm going to copy. Paste, paste, paste. Now something else you could do, if you guys don't care about having these white boxes here, or if you guys don't care about the photo being a different color or the worksheet being a different color, I'm gonna show you an easier way right now. We're gonna show you how to do it in an easier way. So we have our photo in here again. We're gonna go to new. Google Slides, if you're like in a rush and you just do not care, you can do this. Go ahead and go to File, Page Setup, Custom, eight and a half by 11. Get rid of these text boxes. So then you're going to go to Background, choose Image from our Google Drive. If you like the worksheet the way it is, you don't wanna manipulate it at all, Go ahead and just go to insert, text box, click and drag, copy, paste, paste, paste. And then you can do that. And the students will be able to work in this as well. Um, I just want to take it a little step above, but you do not have to. This is a lot easier and less time. Okay, so now we need to upload it to our Google Classroom. And you're gonna go to classwork, create, assignment. You can name it whatever you want. For the instructions, you can add whatever instructions you want, change the points, et cetera, et cetera. But we need to add the worksheet. So you're gonna click on Add, Google Drive, My Drive, and it's right here. 
I'm going to insert it. Now, the most important thing that you need to remember when assigning the worksheet is you need to make sure that this says, make a copy for each student. This is for the student to have their own copy. If you were to select students can edit the file, all the students have one piece of paper essentially. I guess just think of it as you're handing out all the worksheets to students. So you're gonna make a copy for each student. And then what I love personally is you can schedule for Monday at 8 a.m. and it's there. And let's pretend I'm a student. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna work on it. And this is how it's gonna look for them. They're gonna double click and they're gonna be able to answer. Change the font, whatever they wanna do. And then they're able to turn it in and you are able to grade it. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box. And thank you so much for watching.